you got to use the jab. You got to use the jab. You just use the jab. Okay. I know what you're doing. Thank you, boss. That's what I say. I want to see you first. The jab. We believe there were a clash of heads here, and we'll see. There's Barrett going to work on the inside. You see the cut is oh, there's another clash. The, the cut, that's where the cut really probably got bad. And then another clash of heads exacerbated it. There again, right on that left eye. Now, if they did stop this fight now, Monty Barrett might be in better shape. He might want this stop just as we saw Klitschko against DeVar Williams to get the fight stopped, and it worked for them. Yeah, after the end of the fourth round, they go to the scorecards with an accidental headbutt. And you saw the two of them, but Barrett with one of the best in the business as his cut man, Jimmy Glenn. Uh, Jimmy is a, a, a legendary figure in boxing, boxing from New York. So it's round five. We'll see if the cut becomes a, uh, a factor. Stop. Stop. And we have now been told there was no ruling that the clash of heads did it. That is vital now. That's very important. They're ruling that there wasn't a clash of heads, that it was a punch. They didn't see it. And so as a result, Monty Barrett has got an issue because if that cut opens up, he could lose his fight. Uh, this is a tough spot for Barrett. But blood streaking down from the, the left eye. That's a bad cut. Really looking ugly now. Time! Go that corner. Go over here. Dr. Reynolds yeah, Caldwell, well, the chief ringside physician, being called in. They continue. If in fact, as we've been told, that was not ruled a clash of heads, Monty Barrett needs to make something very dramatic happen. Barrett with a lot on his plate here as he just got a, a glimpse of press row. Stop! Stop! Let him go, let him go. Press row with Barrett ahead. I have him ahead 29-27. Let him up, let him up, let him go. Don't hold him down. Midway through the fifth, things getting very dramatic here for Monty Barrett. As Owen Beck the, plays target practice with the cut area. Stop. Stop. So this fight now coming down to a, a grinding halt, but back comes Barrett, who wakes everybody up all of a sudden. Stop! I, I should say my score is 38-37 for uh, Monty Barrett. And of course, this round's a tough one for him. But very game. We talked about how he has faced adversity in the ring in the past. Been very durable and hung in there under tough conditions. Well, he's ha doing it again. Remember, he went down a half a dozen times against Vladimir Klitschko and survived until the seventh round. He's a survivor. Stop, stop, stop. Let him go. Monty Barrett has made this a much more difficult fight for himself. Now, and part of the reason why those clash of heads happened is because he was willing to brawl, maul and brawl in the inside, Steve. Well. He should have been Break. on the outside stop, throwing jabs and straight right hands. And it, maybe those clash of heads wouldn't have happened. So strategic errors on the part of Monty Barrett. So well, these are all learning experiences, but it could come back to haunt him. And don't forget, he's not come a on. kid. He's 33. Hey, Doc! You the white look at the corner? Mike, you got him on your head. Yeah. You got him on your head, Mike. I'm not going to do much more of this. Country! Here, clean this. Okay. I'm not going for too much more of this, Fed. If you don't move your head and get this guy out of here, I'm not going for too much more, right? Come on. Get done, Doc. You in shape. Okay. You in shape, all right? Yeah, you gotta let your hands go a little more, Tay. You gotta move your hand and move from side to side. Move from on, side baby. to side. Stop standing straight in front of me. Move your hand. Trying to load up with one punch. Move your hand. Come on. Stop trying to load up with one punch, Tay. 
You work, you work in all them combinations. Okay. Come on, don't keep telling me, okay, you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta do it, baby. You work in all them combinations, moving our head, having fun. Let's have a little fun. All right, if you need to have a little fun, this round, have a little fun, this round, but punch off the rest. Oh, punch off the rest. And joining us this month, filling in for Jim Gray, here's Steve Okay, Barber. come on, you guys. Steve, I checked with Jay Nady. He ruled that that cut over Monty Barrett's left eye was opened down. initially stop, stop, stop. by a punch, not a butt. Up, and he said and, and, a butt and, 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 made it worse and opened the cut. Then I went to Tim Luck Luckenhoff, who's the administrator in charge here. He said if the fight was stopped because of the cut, it would be a TKO win for Owen Beck. Back to you, Steve. All right, thanks very much. Well, Jay Nady is the closest to the scene, so... We have to respect what he saw and what he said. And it, he may have seen it. it. You know, we saw a clash of heads, but it's possible a punch could start it. And then the clash of heads made it worse. So, uh, and they didn't complain that loudly in the Monty Barrett corner about it. So, we'll see. Well, Blip Parsley uh, uh, said stop, to stop, Barrett, stop, he said, stop. if you don't move your head, I'm going to stop careful. the fight. He's the trainer for, for Monty Barrett. It seems like they've done a, 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 a better job here of keeping that cut under control. You can't grab like that. You know, for Owen Beck at age 28, facing what really amounts to his first major opponent, you got to give him credit. He suffered through adversity in those first two rounds. He was down, he was hurt, and yet he was able to persevere. And you may have noticed uh, between rounds in the corner just before, there were two cuts, one below and one above the eye. Of course, the one above the eye is the uh, more damaging. Here's a nice left tuck. Barrett is game. Got a lot of heart. Under duress, with blood uh, going into his left eye, still firing those hooks. You know what's impressive about Owen Beck right now, Steve? He's doing a very workmanlike job. He's not getting crazy, you know, but here comes Barrett. Comes Barrett. Going to the body, back comes Beck with a left. Watch your head. Frenetic exchanges. Now Barrett with Beck on the ropes, not where Beck wants to be, but he fights his way out again. That's what got him into trouble last time in the second round when he went down. And a slicing, cutting right hand off the side of Barrett's head. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, it's astonishing. Watch that your head. not really bleeding badly in this round. Amazing. Jimmy Glenn will get the cut man of the year award for this one. And it's only February. <laughs> there you go. Stop. We approach 30 Stop. seconds Stop. left in the second. Again, the heads come Nonsense. together. No jabs for Monty Barrett. In fact, nobody's throwing jabs, and that's a, a big issue at this point in this fight. More surprising, I think, from Barrett. Yes. Let him up, let him up, yeah. let him up. Keep your head up. Keep your Barrett head. checks Box. over in his corner. Again, Jay Nady, who's one of the best over from Las Vegas. Watch your heads. Them, watch your head. Them to watch stop. the head. Stop, stop, stop. I know it's close. It's close. Stop. Now the blood reappears. Just at the end of the round. There you go. There you go, Ted. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Put it on the There you go. Give me a bottle of water, baby. That's all you gotta do. Stay smart, make him run into something. You know, he just as tired as you are. I don't even think you're tired. He may be a little more tired, but you gotta keep the movement. Get the side by side and short shots, all right? Stop looking for them big shots and one shot. Once you hit them hard, go right back to what you started with. Don't go back with the wild shots. Bye bye, hit on the right hand, send it back up the jab, and the next hard shot on top. All right? I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. I'm on my job, baby. I just need you to stay on the job. All right? One, two, three, four. You don't have to do it. Don't load up. Let it come. Work. Remember them short shots? Get them short shots off, all right? You're doing good. So here we go, round seven. Barrett's gone past six 15 times in his career, and he's got a good record. He's 12 and three, and he's got a better level of opposition. Beautiful jab, a shotgun jab by Monty Barrett to begin the seventh. Beck, on the other hand, has little experience going past six rounds. Only two fights. Only twice, he's 2-0 oh with a knockout. Came in no, the no, 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 no. Keep your head up now. Jimmy Glenn doing a superb job on that cut. 
Around the left eye, Barrett in the red. A hammering right hand by Beck on the head of Barrett. Now Barrett staying away more, dancing. Well, that, now that was a headbutt. It, it was not unintentional, but you got to watch out. You hear again the words of Jay Mitty trying to manage this uh, affair. Telling Owen Beck, I know it wasn't on purpose, but you got to be careful, Owen. That's for a story. Two of them have Beck ahead by one point. Cameron Hallway has Barrett up by three. Hallway from the St. Louis Post Dispatch. I've got it even at 57 57. So you can see that this is a pretty close fight. Greg Leon from BoxingTalk.com. Ludo signs from FightNews.com. There's a right hand from Barrett. We haven't seen too many of those straight right hands because he's languished on the Stop. inside with Owen Barrett for good portions of this fight. Now, 30, we, we say.